Hello, this is Cassius Kellogg, and today we're going to be overviewing the basics of NetSuite navigation. First off, how to get to NetSuite and how to successfully log in. So first step in any browser, I prefer Google Chrome, but in any browser, go to NetSuite.com, and in the upper right-hand corner, you will see a login option. From there, you'll be able to enter your username, which is traditionally your email address, and your password. Go ahead and click on the login option. Once you've logged in, you're going to see somewhat of a familiar screen when it comes to just the, the basics of NetSuite. No matter what user role you're using, in today's example, I'm just going to be using the administrator role, but any user roles will have some similarities across the board, and that is just consistent with all NetSuite environments. Going from left to right, the first consistency that you'll see is something called recent records. This is going to show you any pages inside of NetSuite that you have visited recently. So for example, I have a customer record listed here and a few other records that I've navigated to recently. Um, just to show you an example of how this can work, if we go to our item master and I simply click view on a sample item one, by viewing that item record, if I return to my home screen or click on really any other page, hover over my recent records again, you'll notice that that sample item one is now at the top of my recent records. That's my most recently visited page inside of NetSuite. So if you're unsure of how to get back to a screen you were just on, best chances for you to find that are most likely going to be under this recent records navigation. Next up is our star icon, and this is a shortcut menu. So the shortcuts you'll actually notice here in my set of results, those mirror the shortcut portlet over here on the right-hand side of my screen. Uh, shortcuts won't necessarily always be on the right-hand right side, it may not be in the center, it may not be on the left, it may be completely hidden, in which case you may need to personalize your dashboard and locate that shortcuts portlet, usually on the far right-hand side listed here. You can see that it's kind of grayed out because it's already present on my dashboard. If I remove that, you'll notice that it becomes available to re-add, and I can re-add that back to my dashboard. So your star icon menu always will mirror whatever your shortcut dashboard menu displays. A couple of ways that you can add new information to your shortcuts, if we return to our item master, let's actually go to our list view here, and I want to view those items on a recurring basis and something I click on on a regular frequency, I can just add this list view to my shortcuts by hovering over the star and adding the shortcuts. I like to, best practice, add the word list to the end of the shortcut anytime I'm going to a list result. So I'm going to actually just put this as items list. Go ahead and save. While we're here, I'm going to actually add another shortcut to be able to create a new item. So I'm going to do the same thing, hover over my star icon, click add to shortcuts, and you'll notice that NetSuite knows that we're on the new item page only difference here is I'm going to open this in a new window and click Save. I'll show you the difference of those two options. If I click on my home screen, I um, don't have to go back home. Could have gone anywhere else. Could have clicked on Customization tab. No matter where I am, you will always have what I call your tab navigation bar up top. That's always going to be consistent throughout the system. Um, and that also dictates that we'll always have our shortcuts with our star icon and our recent records with our clock icon. Hovering over our star icon, you'll see I have my items list and then I have my new item. When I click on my items list, just a simple left click, that's going to take me to my item list that I saved as a shortcut earlier. I'm from the same screen. I could right, uh, sorry, left click, same type of click action on my new item, but remember I clicked that checkbox to open in a new window. At least inside of Chrome, what that actually does is opens in a new tab. So it doesn't actually create a brand new window, it just creates a new tab, which I personally prefer anyway. 
Uh, so that's a nice little feature where if you want to always have that open a new tab, not take you from your current browsing screen, you can set that preference by default. And then you could choose your new item that you want to create. Kind of flowing over to the right hand side, I want to talk a little bit about what I call the new bar. So the new bar here allows you to create new records inside of NetSuite. For example, if I want to create a new sales order, I can click on this sales order option and I am taken to a sales order entry screen. This new bar is present in all roles. However, the results that you see on the new bar are going to differ from role to role. If you don't see what you're looking for, you may need to personalize your new bar. This may or may not be an option depending on the role that you're in and the permissions you've been given by your administrator. But for now, I'm going to click on personalize and just show you that we have a bunch of different results that we can add to our new bar. Um, one that may be common is a quote. If I'm someone that's in sales and I want to create new quotes for my customers, that may be something I want easily accessible on my new bar. You can see that just by clicking and uh, holding down my click, I can drag and drop the order in which I want my new bar organized. So if I find myself creating opportunities, then quotes, then sales orders more frequently than maybe creating vendors, um, I can reorganize the sequence in which these are displayed. Um, now that I've added quote, let's go ahead and just click save on the new bar. And when we hover over that again, you'll now see that I have quote listed. So it's just a nice feature that simplifies clicks, simplifies the memorization of how to navigate through the tab navigation bar to find the ability to create a quote. Much easier, uh, much more friendly for user adoption. Shifting a little bit further to the right here, we will always have a help icon. What is really nice about NetSuite's design is its intuitive nature of knowing what screen we are looking at at the moment when we click on this help icon. So when I click on help, you'll notice that it takes me to the help center and specifically takes me a page called estimates. Natively in NetSuite, quotes are called estimates. In this environment, I have chosen to rename estimates as quotes. So that is one kind of setting that you'll see here inside of the NetSuite environment that all of the help documentation is based on the core naming structure of those records. But here on estimates, um, some relevant help information. What's really nice is NetSuite provides you with related topics. So maybe preparing an estimate might be more relevant to what I'm looking to achieve rather than just the general overview of estimates. So if you can't find something on the page that it takes you to by default, odds are you will be able to find that information at least one click away um, browsing through the relevant or related articles. Similar to the help section, NetSuite has another help repository called Suite Answers. You can get to Suite Answers two different ways. You can go to the Help Center, and then from the Help Center, you'll be able to click Suite Answers here. Another way that you can get to Suite Answers is if I'm just back in general UI view, I can hover over my support tab, which is present in all roles, and click on go to suite answers. Both will take you to the same screen. From here, you'll be able to type in the topic or the question that you may have and find relevant articles that go along with that topic. Um, I can see here BankFeed Suite app is somewhat relatively new feature and I want to learn more about that. So I can type in bank feeds and that's going to take me to a set of different results. NetSuite has a variety of different types of results. You'll see the question mark here, puzzle pieces as another type. Um, you'll notice on the left hand side, those are relevant types of articles. So support articles are articles that are written based on an answer from NetSuite on a a previous question asked by a NetSuite customer. So any of us are able to actually submit questions, support tickets to NetSuite support. And from those questions, if there's enough volume and they find themselves answering the same question over and over, they're actually going to just put that directly into Suite Answers and flag those uniquely. 
So odds are if you have a question about something someone else did as well, and that may be able to be located inside of the Sweet Answers repository. Another useful option is videos. Anytime you want to read or uh, watch a video overview about a specific feature, such as the Bank Feed Suite app, you'll be able to watch those videos from within Sweet Answers. Very helpful. Um, I think NetSuite Oracle has done a really good job of organizing their different content and making it readily available to all users. Last thing I wanted to touch on is just how to navigate different roles. If you are assigned to multiple roles, a single user may have multiple roles assigned to their employee record. Um, if you're a consultant, you may actually have login access to multiple system environments, in which case I do. So just by simply hovering over your name, this is how you can log out. Remember, it is a cloud-based system, so you will potentially get automatically logged out based on your system settings controlled by your administrator, or you're going to want to log out yourself. Um, and then if you had multiple roles, you can navigate between those roles just by hovering over your name and clicking on the different role. This is a pretty quick high-level overview of basic NetSuite navigation, some of the key features that are available to you no matter what role you're using, whether you're in the all-powerful administrator role or in one of the more detailed granular end-user roles, you will always have the recent records, shortcuts, the support tab to go to Sweet Answers, the new bar, the help option, and the ability to toggle or switch between user roles. Hopefully this video was helpful, and I look forward to seeing you on a future recording.